Okay guys, let's see the secrets in Docker and Podman. We'll start with Podman. Basically, we can create a secret inside of TMP secret with the following content. Okay, let's instruct now Podman to use this file and create a secret out of it. It will be Podman a secret create and then the name of the secret, let's say my secret and the location of the file it will use uh, to create the secret. So it's TMP secret and this is the ID of the secret that we have. So we can type podman secret ls. We will see that we have two files and this is the newly created secret with its ID that we just created. Let's see how we can use this secret inside of an image. Uh, so we'll create one image and we'll run it using this secret. Uh, so I'll just type podman run and we would like to remove the container after it has finished its execution and to use a secret and then I'll specify my secret then I'll get the universal base image as an image uh, to create the container from and I would like also while creating this container uh, to see what's inside of run secrets and then I would like to specify my secret. So basically Podman will use this uh, newly created secret while creating the image but it will use it only in memory because it will store the information in the location of run secrets and then the name of the secret and while we are inside of the newly created container because we are running it we'll be able to read the contents of this uh, file so if i execute the command we'll be able soon to see the contents of my secret okay and now we see that we are listing the contents of the file that we created okay and if we replace the run with create verb using our secret we see that we have created one container with this secret and now this interesting fact is that we are able to create an image out of this container with podman commit and then the name of this container so let's see actually what containers we have okay it created automatically this new container for us from the first command okay so I can use podman commit and then the name of the container. Let's use my image. Okay. And if I type podman image list, we'll see that we have localhost my image created with a tag of latest. And uh, now if I use podman history and then use this uh, localhost my image latest, we'll see all the layers and all the commands used uh, to create this image. Nowhere the secret inside of the image. This means that uh, Podman is uh, quite secure and we can be sure that we can distribute this image without sensitive information inside of those secrets. All right, that's how Podman is doing this. Now let's see how Docker behaves. So basically for Docker, we will need to initialize a swarm. This will ensure that we can manage our secrets. And I've already done this once this is done. Okay, so let's uh, create our secret. Again, Docker secret create, and then the name of the secret, let's say my secret and interactive I'll write, let's say my secret as a content control D two times. And we see the ID of the secret here. So if I type Docker secret LS, we'll see that we have two secrets created. Now let's see how we can pass this secret to an image. There are several methods and the way we can transfer secrets to containers is through service. So I'll create a service with docker service uh, create and i'll use the secret and the name of the secret i'll pass here it was my secret and we'll use memcached as an image it's alpine version okay so this will pull the image and we'll use the secret inside of the image so if we check the images uh, we have one image memcached pulled and our containers we have one container running from this image now let's enter inside of this container with docker exec and will be root so type user root and the name of the container and that's its default generated name and of course uh, we need to add a shell this time we'll be using plain shell here okay we are inside of the container and our goal is to check what we have inside of run secrets and inside of our secret and we see that we can read its content and that's very nice because we have access 
inside of the container to our secret. Now, if I create an image out of this container together with a secret, so with Docker commit, and let's say again, my container, and if I type Docker image lists, we see this my container here. If I type Docker history and then of my container, we see a lot of information. Basically, we see that our secret is not exposed inside of the image. And that's very good from a security standpoint. The next method of creating uh, secrets inside of Docker is by having an outside file. Let's see here we have my password where we have a certain information and that's our secret. Of course, it can be hashed. The point is now how we can use this information inside of Docker Compose file. So I've created one such, let's take a look at it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do when trying to access secrets from external file is to specify here at the bottom of our Docker Compose file. So this is the name of our secret, my underscore password, and the location from it that Docker will read from. So it will read the information from a text file and it will be accessible afterwards inside of Docker Compose via this variable, my password. Then we create one DB service and we are again specifying the secret, but this time we are referencing this variable, my password. And once we have access to it, we can also expose it inside of the image as an environmental variable called my password. The underscore file is that we are specifying the location from where we will be reading the file contents. Let's start this uh, service and see what we have inside of the container. Good. So let's start the service, Docker Compose, up. And now we see our container is running. And that's our Alpine latest. And let's enter inside of the container. Docker exec minus it. It will pass the user of root. Then the name of the container. It's Unix user db1. And how? Okay, we are inside of this container. Now let's check what we have inside of run secrets. And we have our my password. And we see its contents. If we check our environment of variables, we see here that we have successfully transferred run secret my password to an environmental file that afterwards our service can read information from. And this way we are not transferring our secure information here, but just location where it can be read from. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you have found the information about secrets interesting for you, please make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.